So coming up is just a short demonstration on how to brush your dog. Hi everyone, so I'm just going to give you some tips on brushing your dog and um, this is the most important thing that you're going to need to do for your dog before um, during this time when you can't get him to the groomer. Um, you need a good slicker brush, I use this, it's the uh, slightly flexible, it's got a long pin, it's very firm, hello, um, and it's really good if your dog's coat is quite tangly. Um, you can also use a, a one like this, a sort of flatter one, it's not so flexible. This is probably better on a, if your dog's coat is a bit shorter. Um, but what you need is a, just a good firm slicker brush that's going to get through the coat. So you need to get to the skin on your dog. Um, Dex has already had a bit of a brush so I'm not going to go too, too overboard with him. Um, start off, if, if your dog's not too tangly you can just quickly go over him. You can hear that nothing's snagging, nothing needs detangling. Um, if you're getting that kind of scrapey noise like this, um, you know he's naughty and he needs, he's going to need a lot of brushing. Um, you want to get right down the leg. Legs are obviously the hardest part of the body to do, the part of the dog to do. Um, but you need to go right the way down. Um, if he's tangly, just do it in small patches working from the tip of the hair in to the skin because like with your own hair if you were to start at the top of the head when it was knotty and drag a brush through that's going to hurt so um just uh yep going quickly as you can so it's not sort of dragging the brush through um really concentrate on these in between the pads in between the toes because they tend to get quite knotty in there if you need to sort of pull the hair apart, you can see where there are knots um, and you can feel it snagging. Um, other areas to really concentrate on, make sure you go down also the back of the leg which gets very very tangly um, and then armpits. These are a classic area for matting because of the friction um, so you want to get in there. When you pick up your dog's leg, you need to pick it up so that it's going in its, it, how it would naturally go if your dog is walking or running. Um, don't try and pull it out to the side too much. So lift it in its natural position. You can pull it slightly to the side once it's in its natural position. Um, and just get right in there, into the armpit with the brush best you can. Um, obviously if, if he's not too tangly in there don't over brush because you're going to make it sore. Other areas are in the tuck up area here. This tends to get quite tangly so again really concentrate around there but be careful because obviously as you go further in um, there's not so much hair and it could scrape and be sore. Um, again right the way down the back legs checking in between the toes, um, back of the legs, this area around the bottom and the, if I bring him around, here we go, around the bottom and around and the back of the leg, this area can often get very knotty and matted so you really need to concentrate here. Again, just brushing, you can go quite quickly. Keep the brush flat so the, the pad of the brush is going flat onto the body because if you start tilting it like that, it's going to scrape the dog. It's going to dig into the skin and really scrape and that's going to be sore. Um, concentrate around the bum because again, this area gets very knotty. Um, it, yeah, the key thing around the bottom area as well is making sure it's kept clean, particularly when your dog's hair is getting very long um, because if it gets dirty around there, obviously that's going to be sore and uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, just keep brushing, making sure that your dog is, you're getting through to the skin, all the knots, you're getting through all the knots, um, 
and particularly this area, the top of the tail, don't forget the tail and the ears because it's quite easy to kind of go over the body and then think, oh, we're done. But tail, ears and face, really important, particularly this area at the top of the tail, or the, the base of the tail, really, actually. Um, that tends to get quite knotty. If your dog doesn't like his tail being touched, um, start at the top of the body, just run your hand gently down and onto the tail so he's not having a shock as you t grab his tail. Um, if he's pulling away, obviously try not to, try to sort of go with him um, and just do as much as he can cope with at that time. Um, brushing through, like Dexter really doesn't like having his tail brushed, you can see he's pulling away. So I'll stop and I'll move on to another part of the body and come back to the tail. Don't ever push your dog too far. He'll let you know if he's not happy um, and you need to stop, try a different area. Treat him, give him praise, um, just really encourage him. Uh, so then ears, with these long, long ears, you need to lift them up, you need to get underneath the ear here good brush here, that gets very knotty and matted, um, behind the ear here, really make sure you're getting the brush in there, giving it a really good brush round, and of course the ear itself, classic area for matting, um, getting the brush right through, um, and the face. Don't forget the face, lots of people forget to brush the muscle, muzzle, it's actually really, really important because that gets matted and that's sore, obviously, and uncomfortable. So just brushing down the face. Dexter, as you can see, not a big fan, so we won't push it too far. Um, any area that he doesn't like, do it a little bit, and then stop, maybe give him a treat, give him some praise, and if he's really not happy, move on to another area, and then maybe come back to that. Once you've brushed everywhere, and you're feeling fairly confident that he's not free, you need a metal comb, a really good, solid, sturdy metal comb that's not going to um, bend. Um, and just run it through the hair, all over, running it through, making sure there's no snagging, no, no knots. Um, you've got to get it right to the skin to make sure there are no knots close to the skin, which is where they tend to start. Um, and once they're there, close to the skin, it's quite easy to just skip over them and then they just get worse and worse and worse and that's when your dog has to be clipped off. So going all over the fur with the comb, really checking that there's no knots there, nothing snagging. Of course, if there are any knots, you need to go back over with the slicker brush um, until he's completely knot free. If you do find some tangles, the corner of the comb is quite good to just gently tease them out just literally just going into the knot, teasing it out like that. Um, use your fingers perhaps to break it apart. I wouldn't recommend really for you at home getting in too close in with the scissors, but um, if there were some knots that weren't too close to the skin, that might be a better option if they're really, really bad, but just be really go with caution on that. Um, so I think that's the key areas and the, the the best uh, advice I can give is really to just that prevention is always better than cure. So brush as much as you possibly can to stop those mats, mats starting and then hopefully you won't have any problems.